Met Office issues Easter Monday weather warning for snow across UK, and first dusting has arrived in some areas. Things aren't quite going to plan for bank holiday weekend travellers, and there's more joy on the way. The Met Office today issued a warning of a white Easter with the threat of snow in another Arctic blast hitting Britain on Monday. Several centimetres of snow is forecast for parts of England, Wales, and southern Scotland, drifting in with strong winds. Issuing the yellow weather warning, for between 00.15am and 23.45pm on Monday, April 2, the Met Office said there is a chance rural communities could become cut off with power cuts and mobile phone signal affected as snow batters the country. Snow has already fallen in parts of Scotland and the north of England today though most of the country has seen rain instead. However, the Met Office has forecast more widespread snow on Monday, with area under threat including East Midlands, east of England, London and the southeast and west of England, northeast and west England, southwest Scotland on the Lothian borders, Strathclyde, Wales, the West Midlands and Yorkshire and Humber. There is a chance of travel delays on roads, with stranded vehicles and passengers, along with delayed or cancelled rail and air travel in the latest cold snap of 2018. Easter Bank holiday weekend didn't get off to the best start on Friday morning either with travellers attempting to get into the Port of Dover were held up by enhanced French border controls, said Port of Dover Travel on Twitter. Allow plenty of time for your journey, the tweet warned. Ferry operators will accommodate you on the next available sailing. Replying, Hazel Dixon said, happens every peak holiday period. Total chaos yesterday, no organization. Some lanes not moving at all because their booth was closed. Took us nearly three hours to get from Dover to check in. Zero information the display board said 15 minutes. 15. DFDS Channel Freight said on Friday lunchtime. The port of Dover is extremely busy. Please follow the overhead signs to DFDS check-in and have your passport and travel details to hand. Back in July 2016, motorists making their summer getaway were caught in 15-hour queues at the port in an enormous 12-mile tailback. British officials were drafted in to help French border police as queues grew due to heightened security checks. Delays on the M2, M20. A20 and A2 in Kent are being reported on Friday. The RAC predicts 4.5 million individual journeys are expected to take place on Britain's roads today alone. Rail users weren't having much fun either, with RMT industrial action affecting southwestern railway services and major engineering work disrupting Caledonian Sleeper, Cross Country, Great Western Railway, Greater Anglia, London Northwestern Railway. Northern, Southwestern Railway, Southern, TfL Rail, TransPennine Express, and Virgin Trains. On Thursday, the Met Office also issued a yellow weather warning for snow in parts of Scotland from Thursday at 9 p.m. to Friday at midday. Central, Tayside, and Fife, Grampian and Highlands and Eilean Sire are affected. Rain is set to hit today, Friday, developing over southern parts of the UK and spreading northwards, with temperatures in the north between 5C and 7C and the south a little warmer at 8 or 9C. The Met Office says Friday will feel cold, with showery rain, sleet and hill snow across parts of northern England, northern Ireland and eastern Scotland. Friday evening is expected to be wet and windy across southern and central parts of the UK, along with some wintry showers across northeast England and eastern Scotland. Elsewhere will be drier and clearer, with some patchy frost, if you're out on the town, it might be an idea to wear a coat. Saturday will turn drier, brighter, breezier and colder with a brisk northeasterly wind paving the way for a widespread frost and snow on Easter Sunday for much of the country and the potential of lows of 5C in parts of Scotland. For most of the country the day will be cloudy, peppered with some sunshine and showers, before more rain moves in from the south on Monday morning bringing the potential of further snow to the northern hills. But it's not all doom and gloom, 
After another hellish month of bitingly cold winds and deep snow, there is light at the end of the tunnel, we're due 60 days of sunshine, just not quite yet. From May we could finally get the sunny days we have all been craving, but not until after Britain faces shivering through the fourth month of the year. Forecasters are predicting that we're could be another Arctic blast at the end of April. A Met Office spokesman told Mirror Online that by mid-April overnight frosts and patchy fog will sweep in, with a mixture of changeable or showery spells interspersed with drier and more settled periods. They added, temperatures overall are likely to remain below average although an increasing number of milder days can still be expected as we get towards the end of the month. Motorists heading out over the Easter weekend should get clued up on how to drive safely in the snow and ice, which can cause radiators to freeze, black ice on the roads and dazzling low sun. According to the AA, top tips for staying safe in sub-zero weather start before leaving the house, always be sure to wear comfortable, dry shoes for driving. Once you get in the car, make sure to pull away in second gear easing off the clutch gently to avoid wheel spin. Try to avoid stopping halfway up or down a hill, instead, wait until it is clear of cars and keep at a constant speed, choosing the most suitable gear to avoid changing while on the hill. If you must apply the brakes, do so gently to avoid skidding. Moving on to next week, the Met Office predicts Tuesday, April 3rd, into Wednesday will be drier and brighter in the far north with some snow showers, while elsewhere remains cloudier with outbreaks of rain and hill snow. Overnight frosts, especially in the north, will keep it feeling cold, though temperatures in the south may be closer to average. As we head through the early April it will probably remain rather cold and changeable, sometimes windy, with showers or outbreaks of rain, and a risk of snow mainly over northern hills the forecasters say. Those in the southeast will enjoy more mild, drier conditions, with occasional warmer interludes. Unsettled conditions are most likely in northwestern areas, 